am your special host for the day, taking over the Bucci channel. Good morning everybody. It is the day before the LA Fit Expo and I have a fun day planned today. You guys have saw the thumbnail so I'm just getting ready to go to the gym right now. Well, it's like 8 a.m. so I'm not really getting ready to go to the gym just yet. Um, I have some stuff to do, breakfast to eat. Randy's here. Here I am. We just had an epic cardio session. Yeah, we just did a little Feeling bit of cardio. Good. Feeling good. I just did like 20 minutes and I did some foam rolling because I needed to and like my body's starting to feel it, um, all the heavy lifting is definitely starting to feel a little bit fatigued and a little bit like I need to do my mobility work, so um, foam rolling and stretching is going to be like a huge priority over the next couple weeks before the meet. So let's get into it. Always breakfast. Pancakes, egg whites, turkey sausage. What else did you expect? <laughs> Pancakes, turkey sausage, egg whites. We are eating half of this Lenny's and Larry's cookie for pre-workout and this gym during the Fit Expo weekend is an absolute disaster, so we'll see if we can actually live. I had my pre-workout, I had my food, and it's a mess in here. It's like very, very busy. We are actually squatting and deadlifting in the same. Hi, Emily. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, really, it's fine. And then we have our collaboration guest of honor, Mr. Hola. Blaine Norton. So excited. Well, this is Amanda Bucci. You guys don't know? <laughs> well, this is, are you kidding me? We're not even on the same level. <laughs> this is his first time at Gold, right? First time. First yeah, time. Yeah, this is, this is a messy first time at Gold's gym, trust me. We're about to do some squats. We'll try to. You're still covering some yeah, injuries. Amanda's right? probably going to squat more than me today. No, we'll have That's similar okay. working weights. She, she, okay. she got better quads, too, so <laughs> nope. Although my tight game is on point, so I feel this like my true. tights are probably on the next level. I got regular Forever 21 and you have like... Just saying. Those are pretty nice actually. Right? I like them. I mean, Just saying. You know, if you can't squat heavy or have big legs, you might as well have great tights. Quad game is strong. Because I'm using my height on rack. on rack. <laughs> Single rep is a perfect rep. I like that. Special host for the day, taking over the Bucci channel. I was just telling Amanda, she was telling me she would yell at me for being self deprecating. Fortunately, I balanced it out with a nice blend of arrogance, so it works out very well. Let's go, Amanda.
Excellent. Great job. Good job, man. Big breath, Bryce. Tins, what is this, cardio? It's so okay. close to your face here. Okay. Well, that'll scare oh. <laughs> Let the pro handle it. That'll, that'll scare off all the users then. We're good. I'll, ta I'll, I'll take users from our team. Well, no, they won't take my team. They'll just leave. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. Oh, you're living. Oh, hey. How do you do that? I don't understand how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Like, you know how you do Instagram story? Yeah. Swipe to the left, it'll say live. And you press live. What? It's so yeah. hard. Oh. Do you read directions, Queen? <laughs> Can you read the directions? All right, these are my working sets. I did my last set at 175 for 10. And it was like, I could do it, but it was like really, really killer. And I was only supposed to do 170, so we're gonna stick with 170. Um, and if you guys notice, watching Lane and I squat, you probably see a lot of differences in the way that we squat. So I'm, I'm very much so an upright squatter. And Lane doesn't do that. Not so much, not so much. <laughs> he gets a lot of shit for it, but why don't you go ahead and explain why. So your squatting mechanics are gonna basically be determined by a few things. In order for you to have a good squat, the bar has to stay over your midfoot. If your bar gets out in front of your midfoot, you fall forward. If it gets behind your midfoot, you fall backwards. And so it has to stay over your center of gravity, essentially. Well, for somebody like Amanda, who has relatively short femurs, and longer tib fib, shorter torso, or sorry, longer torso relative to a femur, she's gonna be able to stay a lot more upright because of where the bar is gonna sit relative to her midfoot. Okay. She also gets a pretty good, if you look at our body types, my legs are so long, I'm five foot ten and a half. My, yeah, you have my, very long legs. My finger length is the length of somebody who's about six foot two. And so for me, in order for me to get the parallel, even with no weight, you can see here, if you look where my midfoot is, and you look where my back is, where the bar would sit, you're going to see, even with no weight, I require a significant amount of forward length. And there's not, yeah. you can squat wider, you can get more dorsiflexion, you can do all those things, but there's only a certain amount of stuff you're going to be able to do. And so the point being, some of you out there, especially there's a lot of ladies who are very long-legged and who have to squat with a lot of forward lean, do not worry about it. Now the biggest thing is making sure you maintain a neutral spine, okay? So you do not want your lumbar to fold and collapse. If you, Because think about... At the bottom, I'm basically in the position of a conventional deadlift. Conventional deadlifts are not inherently dangerous as long as you're able to maintain the neutral spot. So this is where bracing becomes very important. When you see a man in a squat, you'll see between each rep we embrace our core. This is your body's natural belt and is what supports your spine. And so by bracing this, it allows you to keep your spine neutral and you can squat safely even if you have long legs and a little bit more trouble than you get. You guys do it if you're doing your first meet. Um, big thing to keep in mind is that no matter what you hit, it's a PR. So I see a lot of people like they go in their first meet, they're like, oh, look at this state record. Look at listen. If if you get through your lifts and that that's there or a PR is there, go for it. But I see so many people, they're like, their best deadlift is 265, and they go, YOLO 300. <laughs> no. no chance of getting it, right? So what is the point of powerlifting? The point of powerlifting is to win. What is the best way to win? The best way to win is to get the highest total. 
What is the best way to get the highest total? The best way to get the highest total is to hit as many lifts as possible. You do not get credit for lifts that you miss. You only get credit for lifts that you hit. A great you example, don't get brownie points for trying. No, a great <laughs> example of this is World Championships 2015. Uh, I, squat, I started out squatting a world record, 668, and I had bench pressed 395 in training. My second attempt was 374. It did not move great. We made the decision to go 380 on my second attempt. Now, a lot of people will look at that and say, well, why aren't you trying to match your PR this and that? Because even though it was only an extra two and a half kilos, it's two and a half kilos that I got. Okay, it's five and a half pounds that I got, all right? And when it came down to the last lift, I ended up beating the person next to me, well, for the silver medal, ah. by that amount. Interesting. So, if I had maybe gone for something higher and missed it, that person could have dropped their last deadlift by two and a half or five kilos. And if they matched me or beat me, I would not gotten the silver medal. So again, a lot of people get so tied up and I have this PR, I've got to hit this PR. I'm not saying you shouldn't go for those. And if PRs are there, take them. But if you do, some days you're just not going to have it. And especially something like bench press, which tends to be very fickle. Um, you may just not have it that day. And other day, like, listen, if you do have it that day, go for it, you know? But, um, you know, it's very important to be honest with yourself. And I like what Matt Gary says. A lot of this stuff is from him. He's the, the, co the head coach of the U.S. Coaching Committee. And uh, he said, you know, that it's so important to execute. And people think powerlifting is about finding out who the strongest person is. It's not. It's about finding out who the best power lifter is. There's a lot more that goes into that than just strength. You have to execute, okay? So, one of the nicest compliments I ever got was from Matt, who said, you know, you put so much pressure on all the other lifters. He's like, you've beaten at every single meet people who are stronger than you. Because they know you're gonna hit your lifts, and they know if they miss, they're gonna be out. And so when you put that kind of pressure on somebody, when they know when it comes down to the last deadlift, you're not gonna miss it makes them start making mistakes. So obviously that's a little bit higher level. For those of you beginners, you may not have to worry about that sort of thing. Right. But if I can give you one piece of advice, don't cut a bunch of weight for your first meet. Everything's a PR. Try to go nine for nine. Is over here dying. <laughs> you still look beautiful though. Yeah. Oh wow, thank you. It's just it's like, like, like this. Hand pumps everything. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You're like finishing cardio and looking gorgeous. Was that your cardio that you were doing? Or just walking lunges? Just, yeah, kind of workout. Oh. I did walking barbell lunges, and then I came back with the band on, did stuff like deadlift with the band, lighter weight, higher rep, and then jump squats, and then after about 15, like super high jump squats, I did the squat to kick back, and that's one side. Nice. There you go. Kill it. It. Almost ready to, how many weeks into prep are you? Four? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's It's like been four weeks? Wow. Already? Uh, almost. Wow, that's weeks. like crazy. Almost four weeks. I think I'm sending my 16 week check in. Damn. Damn. Hell yeah. We also have Courtney um, King here. Yeah, like Say hello. That's, that's hello. Good. <laughs> I know, it's very cold. I'm so it's a whole 65 like, degrees in here. And I'm not even training. <laughs> Yeah, this is true. He's high. He's high. I went in disguise to one of the seminars back in the day when my <laughs> Oh, shit, Vincent. That's on I camera. Did you it. see it was that? A secret. Finally, four years later, I, I get credit. I'm coming out I of the closet, like guys. The people, that, <laughs> the people that you don't want to know probably don't watch my YouTube videos. Yeah, so it's, okay. <laughs> it's okay, but I totally did that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Dang. Dang. How old are you? Uh, 19. Nice. Uh, by the way, there's my no legs in that picture. Big white omelets. <laughs> It's basically just egg whites, spinach, mushrooms, wow, tomato on the side, salsa on the side. Ooh, the lens just got fogged up. Wow. That ketchup bottle did nothing to you. Drop it like it's hot. Can I get the bottle of We've got the Turkish muffin. We just finished up podcasting. I got Lane to talk with me for a solid hour on my podcast, and I'm really excited about it. So I keep telling you guys about the podcast. It's not going to be out just just yet. I will thousand percent let you guys know when it's going to be out. Don't worry about that. Um, I told you guys it's going to be when my website is all developed, which is in the works right now. So I'll let you guys know when the interview is going to be out. But I'm really excited to have Lane on. Thank you for spending the day with me. I Thank appreciate you. Feel bad for you. You had to be around me all day. <laughs> no. You had your ear off. Hey, it was a great time. I had fun. Yeah, I had fun too. Thanks for having me. I Lots of talking. It. This guy talks a lot. Yes, I do. It's one thing. You're I do good. Very, you're very good well. at talking. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> 
feel like I that may be my talent right there. Just a little, just a, just a little bit. AKA, you should be a motivational speaker. <laughs> See, and you can Amanda, get paid for your talent. Amanda's gonna push me to do this now, so maybe I have to. <laughs> if um, you start, I'm taking credit. Well, I, I'm actually seriously. <laughs> he's like, hey, yeah, so. I told him after the podcast that he should be a motivational speaker, and he's like, wait a second, maybe, mm, good idea. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. It would definitely be fun. It, she's put it, the idea. It in would kind of so. just like utilize your biggest talent, right? Yeah, talking. Right? Yeah, who talking? knows? Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got some information out of it with the workout that we did today. And I'm really excited to put out the podcast. So, again, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Say bye. Peace. Bye, guys. <laughs>